everybody, welcome back to the Airs Aviation Hangar. Today we're going to be talking about aircraft magnetos. What are they? How do they work? What's some problems you might run into with them? But before we do that, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. The more that you like and subscribe, the more that my page gets out to the general aviation public. And hopefully all these tips and videos uh, will make everyone more a knowledgeable pilot and a much safer pilot and you know the safer and more knowledgeable everyone is you know the better and safer the sky is going to be so be sure to like and subscribe i really appreciate it so let's go ahead and jump into aircraft magnetos so what is an aircraft magneto aircraft magnetos is just like pretty much every other system on the airplane you never really see it it's underneath the hood and we don't see something you can't touch it it's pretty difficult to give a really good thorough understanding of what it is and how it operates. So a magneto is a component to the engine and it makes spark and sends spark through spark plug wires to the spark plug and helps fire the engine. Okay, so how does it work? Well, it rotates and when it rotates it creates its own spark. It doesn't need power from a battery to help create spark you know, to go to the spark plug, it creates its own, okay? And it rotates, okay? So it stabs in the back of the engine, which we'll get to in here in a second. And as the engine's turning, it's turning the magneto and it's firing, okay? And you're gonna hear this click. Whenever you rotate a magneto, okay, it clicks. So what this thing is clicking is called an impulse coupling, okay? A magneto has to turn at a decent RPM in order to, for it to fire. Without an impulse coupling, the starter can't turn the engine over fast enough in order to get this thing to fire. So what it is, it's a spring and it gets tighter and tighter and tighter and when it clicks, it turns that magneto just fast enough for it to fire, okay? Whenever you're turning a prop, maybe you're pre-flight in an airplane and you turn a prop just a little bit and you hear it click underneath the hood, that's what's clicking. This is the impulse coupling and you gotta be real careful. You gotta make sure the magnetos are uh, turned off and most of the time you try to turn the prop counterclockwise to keep that magneto from firing okay so a magneto has these gears on it okay and it stabs into the back of the engine so we're going to jump real quick to a couple photos the first photo is of a engine that we just installed on one of our airplanes about two weeks ago so we just took it out of the crate and it's sitting there and this is a picture of the back of the engine the back of the engine has this thing called an accessory case and inside that accessory case is a bunch of gears so your magnetos are going to slip into that accessory case at the very top there's a little cardboard cut out um, that's where the vacuum pump uh, drive slips into the engine down at the very bottom there's a bigger cardboard cut out that's where we install the uh, uh, the alternator okay and all, whenever the engine's turning it turns all these gears in this next photo will show you the gears of the engine, okay? So that's that's what the uh, this magneto here is slipping in to uh, those gears. So when the engine's turning, it's turning all these gears and it's turning all your accessories on the back of the engine, okay? So that's how the magneto is driven, okay? So it slips in the engine, operates off these gears, okay? Now, uh, this next video is a video that I shot whenever we're having some magnetos overhauled um, over here in East Texas. Um, so what Kevin did is he put the magneto on a test bench, okay? And as you can see here in the video, the ma machine's turning the magneto and it's firing, okay? So that's all the magneto does is it, the engine turns it based off of these gears. And when it, the magneto's turning, it's sending sparks through the spark plug wires to the spark plug, causing the engine to fire, okay? All right. So that's how a magneto works, okay? So one thing that you need to understand is how do we get it to not work, okay? Because if the magneto is in the back of the engine like this and it's rotating, it's going to fire. So you gotta be really careful. So the only way to get a magneto not to fire is with your magneto switch, okay? So you're going to have two terminals on the back of the magneto here. This is called a P lead. What a P lead is, it comes out and comes to your switch and then another wire comes out and it grounds against the magneto casing, okay? So when the magneto is in the off position, okay, it should be grounding all the magnetos, 
okay? If the magneto is on both, then both magnetos are hot, okay? If you're switched to the left magneto, then only the left magneto should be firing and the right should be grounded out. And so the same thing if I go to the right magneto, then the left one is grounded out, only the right magneto is firing, okay? So that's the only way to uh, turn the magneto off and get not to fire. Now you gotta be careful because if one of these wires slips out of the terminal, then it won't ground that magneto anymore. And so it could be hot. And when you turn the prop by hand, it could start the engine, it could fire it up. So that's another reason why we kill the engine using the mixture. So hopefully if that ever happens and it does try to start, it doesn't run very long and, and the engine dies because it's starved for fuel. So why do we have two magnetos? Well, we have two magnetos for redundant systems. Okay, if one magneto fails, we still have another magneto providing enough spark to the cylinders to keep them to run. And also, it increases the power output of the engine. And you can see that when you do a magneto check on run-up. You'll run it up to your designated RPMs, 16, 17, 1800 RPMs, whatever the manufacturer states. And whenever you go from both and you switch to an individual mag, it turns one magneto off and you'll see a decrease in power. When you go back to both, you'll see that RPM gauge kind of rise back up. Okay, so it's redundant. In case one fails, you have one backup. You can make it to another airport, no problem. But it also helps produce uh, more power, okay? So magneto provides spark to the spark plugs, causing the engine to run, okay? And it's redundant. So we have on each cylinder two spark plugs. One magneto will fire this spark plug into a cylinder, and this magneto will fire another spark plug into the other cylinder, okay? So they make their own spark. There's two of them. The only way that you can turn them off is with the magneto to ground it out. That's pretty much it, okay? Um, now, what's some problems that you might run into whenever you're doing a magneto check? Typically, out of all my flying that I've done, if you have a magneto problem, a spark plug problem or a spark plug wire problem and you're starting the engine and you're on both you won't really hear that or feel that or see any indications of an issue until you do your magneto check okay so when both magnetos are firing at the same time one could be running a little bit off but the other one's making a difference so it's hard to kind of see you know how one's acting up but that's why it's so important it takes five seconds to do a magneto check before uh, you know departing. So it's really important, take your time, check the magneto. You know, if I go to the left and it's good and I go to the right and it's backfiring or running real rough, I might have a magneto problem. I might have a wire problem, maybe you know something inside the engine compartment rubbed a hole in uh, the spark plug wire causing it not to fire right. Or maybe I have a bad spark plug, maybe a fouled spark plug or something like that, okay? so. That's the video on aircraft magnetos. I hope it helped you guys out. You know, be sure to check out the rest of my channel, the rest of my videos, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks.